Welcome to Maxim.com. We are here with Oscar-winning screenwriter Diablo Cody. <laughs> that always sounds funny. Doesn't it sound good? You're, never, you're not used to it, are No. <laughs> Her new movie, Jennifer's Body, opens this weekend. So, um, first thing is, not a lot of people will follow up an Oscar win with a horror movie. So that's, that's no, not not awesome. necessarily. For me, the the whole sort of Oscar um, situation actually felt a lot weirder than doing a horror movie. <laughs> like I, I, doing a horror movie feels more natural for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. So what did, the, did you have this idea already, or did it come up between Juno and? Actually, this was kind of based on a short story that I had written some years ago. Okay. And uh, after um, after I wrote the script for Juno, I wanted to write another one. And uh, Juno hadn't actually been shot yet, so I was still had a lot of time on my hands, shall we say. And I thought, <laughs> all right, how about a horror movie? And I, I sort of took that short story and adapted it into a screenplay. Now, cheerleaders being evil, I mean, what's what's so bad about encouraging people to be aggressive? First of all, I would like to say that that Jennifer in the film is not a cheerleader. She's on the flag team, uh, which we okay. all know is completely different. <laughs> I don't know if guys know that, but... We're, we don't really pay attention to the nuances. Women would make the distinction. Huh? There's absolutely nothing evil about cheerleaders. Although if you think about a group of like trained gymnasts in matching uniforms, they're kind of like ninjas. There's also a, a pretty intense makeout scene between Amanda Seyfried and mm -hmm. Megan Fox. Mm -hmm. Clearly you've been reading our comments section, so we want to thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys asked for it. When you saw that actually shot, was it at all how you thought it was going to play out? In the, you didn't, actually, I mean, I had kind of written it as a kiss. Oh. You know, like they kiss and it was going to be a heated, tense moment because it, there is this tension that kind of builds between the two girls as the story goes on. But uh, it, it, it's hotter than I expected. I have to, it's a very moist, prolonged kiss. I know a lot of people don't like the word moist, but I do. You also have a cameo in Jennifer's body. It's so small. Yeah. Is that going to be an ongoing thing, like a, no. a Hitchcock thing? No. I don't pop? know what I was thinking. I originally wanted to be in that scene because there's fire, and I thought it would be cool to be involved in a burn, like Burt Reynolds, when like he would do his own stunts. As it turns out, these things are very controlled and rather boring. So I just kind of stood there in an apron, like, <laughs> acting sucks. Like you couldn't shoulder roll away from an explosion. And you know, I didn't get to ham it up. I like to look at the camera. I like to shoot one down the barrel. And you can't do that in a movie or you ruin it. <laughs> now, there's also a great scene where um, one of the characters, ha a male character, has sex for the first time. And the awkwardness is, is so close to home it has to be based <laughs> on true events. Is this <laughs> I, honestly, I just wanted to hear uh, a, somebody in a, in a movie say, put it in. Because you never, whenever you show people having sex in the movies, it's always this incredibly seamless natural organic thing where they just suddenly start having sex and it totally works whereas we all know sometimes you have to like take a few pokes yeah and so she tells him like put it in and then he has to like put it in her yeah. it sounds so basic and so simple but it's something you don't <laughs> see in the movies you've also been working with Steven Spielberg on the uh... <laughs> oh my god that's like the <laughs> greatest transition of yeah. all time and my career is now honing, over I was honing that one thank you yeah um, does he, does she just walk in the room, is he <laughs> followed by laughing children and like John Williams music? Yes, or, he's that, yeah. he's met that, and there's like a fleet of pixies that just kind of like hover behind his head. Yeah, um, yeah he's, he's a genius. Uh, he makes, uh, I don't know anybody who isn't nervous around him um, <laughs> and who isn't uh, sort of in awe of him. And the, the advice that he has to give is always as perfect as you want it to be. Was Jennifer's body already in production when you started working with him? Or? I don't think I ever discussed Jennifer's body with him, and I'm curious as to whether he will like it. Yeah. Um, it's a pretty cynical film. Speaking of, of cynicism, um, how many people have pitched you a script idea today? No joke, there's actually been two people so far. And it's funny because it, I, was, I, was, I was even thinking about it. Like I thought, wow, you know, it's, usually you know, it happens a couple times a week, but it's happened to me twice today. It's always like a conspiratorial thing like, hey, um, you should know that I'm actually a screenwriter too. And I, I have something. It's only like 15 pages in, but it's something. Oh my God! Make it stop. <laughs> There's a lot of a lot of remakes, a lot of reboots going around now. Do you try to stay away from that, or is there something maybe you you wouldn't mind getting your hands on? Well, that's an interesting question. Yeah. Certain horror reboots can be fun, okay. but you definitely don't want to do a reboot of like you know Vertigo or something. Like, you know what I mean? Like you yeah. <laughs> you want to like. You have to be respectful, mm. but uh, if somebody came came forward with like some amazing exploitation film from the 70s and was like, remake this, I might think about it. Uh, writing, blogging, journalism, is, is directing a, a next step or have you thought about it? It's weird to me that screenwriters always 
you know, like directing is always the next logical step for them. And to yeah. me, it's so different from writing that I don't even see where how they relate. <laughs> it's such a different process. You have yeah. to have like people skills. You have to be have leadership qualities. Writers like sit alone, you know, and obsess. <laughs> so I would like to try. I honestly have no idea whether or not I would be good at it. If you could make make a, an on-camera plea to the maximum audience. This feels like a friendly audience that I'm addressing. Yeah, I, I no, hope that's the case. Huh. I promise you if you go to see Jennifer's body, it will provide you with fodder for your imagination. And it's actually kind of an intelligent, cool flick. So please go see it. I will finish you if I have to. Okay. You can barely finish gym class. I'm Diablo Cody and you're on Maxim.com.